I wanted to draw a picture that describes effectively the false left-right paradigm. The Republican Party props up the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party props up the Republican Party. By itself, a single-party system will fall over. But if you take the two-party systems and you lean them up against each other, this is basically the arch. Their force going together keeps them together and makes it become a very strong, stable platform on which they can build their hierarchical New World Order system. So the current two-party system has been dominated and bought up and controlled by the elite that sits atop it. Now the elite with a one-party system would not be balanced on top of one party. They would be subject to being toppled. But you put the two parties up against each other, they form a royal arch. And now it's very hard to separate those two because they're leaning up against each other. And so Republicans attack Barack Obama. And then the Democrats attack John McCain. And then the population who's down here is trained to see John McCain as representing them personally, as being their daddy, of where their personal power comes from, of their camp, their brand name, their brand of soda. And so this is a controlled paradigm. And really, it's one unit supporting themselves and containing revolution so that the people who are down here never learn that there is a world outside of this controlled paradigm. We are locked within the left-right paradigm. And then it becomes this huge pageant, this huge distraction where we analyze every, every facet of the two political parties, never realizing they themselves are simply a front or puppets for a larger power structure. And, and then they can limit the scope of differences, which if you look at it, there's almost no difference between the two instead of getting the people to look outside the box at the wider world.